All right, now we can take a look at the first 250 frames. So we still got that raptor leg thing that needs to be fixed. And you'll also notice now, when we take a closer look at our armature, let's see the side profile, the first 250. It's very short, but it looks pretty good. I'd, I'd be happy with that. Um, and from what you could see in the speed edit, it, you know, it was pretty straightforward, but man, I was just sitting there and just like, ugh, this, this is why people get paid for this. So um, keep in mind, it's a lot of grueling work. All right, so we're just gonna change this to 751 instead now, and we're gonna take a look at the whole animation so we can mess around with those arms. you see it starts to twist and that's not what we want so the bone I'm gonna want to edit is this upper arm bone here and you'll notice that when you click here there's no translation information for the shoulder but there's definitely information for upper arm so go here and uh, we're just gonna track down which one we want to edit I believe it's the y-axis I'm just guessing here but we'll, we'll play the animation and go from there So that is not the one I want. I want, I believe, maybe it's X. One is for twist, you know, one is for more of a bending motion, and they all have a purpose. You're just trying to make sure that it looks good when you get it just right. So it's still twisting. I can see it, but I'm almost there. Okay. That looks pretty good. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. For the most part, there's a little bit of issue right here in the front during the animation, but everything else looks pretty good, I think. So let's try again for the other. We'll start with X. Definitely not X. Okay, and not Z. There we go. So we know it has a lot more to do with the Y and the way that it's twisted. Still twisting though, so I'm gonna try this W here. Okay. And the hands haven't been edited either, so. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Still a little bit of issues over here, but for the most part, like I said, looks good. Try and select that. Oop, wrong one. Yeah, that looks real good. All right. So now we can move on to the legs. Okay, mess around with these legs. All right, so I know this is not editable, but this one is. This is not, this one is. So I'm gonna mess with this one first.
Yeah, I like that. That looks pretty good. No, it does not. I think I edited the wrong one, so let's try a different bone. Yeah, that seems a little more what I'm looking for. Okay, I'll move on to this side. Need to go back and see what I did from the side view because it's kind of hard to tell from front. Okay. I'm going to try a different bone. And this also has to do with the feet needing to be edited as well. So it's a lot of trial and error, a ton, in fact. Yeah, that's looking a little better. Yeah, you see the more overboard you go, it starts to have a negative effect on the whole thing. So that's why I was saying those minor changes to the leg do matter. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to take a look at these here and see if I can't make any change that will be helpful, especially to this leg. Okay, so we know we don't need to do anything to that one right now. Nope, not that one either. Yeah, that looks good. I'm getting a little more bend out of it. Yeah, it's starting to smooth out. I mean, like I said, I still need way more work done because I only did the first 250 frames for the Z-axis of the root bone. So you're going to get what you get. But I'm definitely getting a lot more bend out of that leg, so I'm really happy with that. So basically that's the workflow for any one of these bones. You don't want to edit the actual bones themselves. You want to play around with the translations of the graph editor for the armature. That's where your work's going to be done. So hope you found this informative and uh, be prepared for a ton of editing work, like I said before. And uh, thanks for watching.